Now let's test out a pair of budget products I found online. First up is a multi-angle measuring ruler. Let's see how it does. Hey guys, today we're gonna test out this multiple angle square. Now I picked this up off Amazon and let's test it out. The first thing is, it's really small. It's a lot smaller than what the picture looked like. I thought it was gonna be more like a regular square. So that's kind of the first little thing on it. It's a lot smaller than what I thought it is. So let's take a look and see if it's actually square. So I know this empire square is nice and square here. So that looks good. So that's square that way. Square that way. And pretty square that way. So that kind of passes the test there. So what you're supposed to be able to do is use this to go around like a four by four, mark it out multiple different angles. So I guess let's try it out. So if we go like this, of course, that gives me a nice little shoulder to mark out on. And in theory, I should be able to go like this, but that doesn't work very well because I could have this in a different angle. Now, if I want to go around a corner, in theory, I can go like this, go around the corner this way. That works out pretty good for marking out a post. Now, there's not a lot of other uses for this except for maybe the 45 degree angle that we see right here that I can come in and mark. But again, it's really tiny. So I think this is really best used for marking around a post if you're doing a fence project and you just need something in your tool belt for that. But the other thing I have against this it's 100% in metric. So unless you're using metric all the time, there's no inches on it. It's kind of not the best tool for that. So I'm gonna give this two stars just because it's too tiny and it's all in metric, which makes it a lot harder to use. Now let's test out a cool new tool that measures the amount of moisture in wood. This could be a game changer. Let's put it to the test. Hey guys, today we're gonna to test out this wood moisture meter. Now this is great for using on projects when you're dealing with wood, especially if you're doing refinishing or using certain kind of saws that have to have a low moisture count. So what we're gonna do is test this thing out and see how it works. Now there are different styles out there. This is the kind that puts the two little pinholes in there. So if you're doing a very fine woodworking project, you might need to get a better one for that because well, you don't wanna to have to go back and fill those holes. So first off, let's give this a shot. This actually does softwood and hardwood. So I've got this set here on the softwood. So let's see how this piece of fairly wet cedar works. So I'm gonna push that in here. So it's mid-grade to high. So what that's telling me is that this is pretty wet wood, which we kind of knew because it was outside. This also has a cool little flashlight on it here if you're trying to work on a tight spot, which isn't too bad. Let's test it on this dryer 4x4 post and see if it works as well. That's a 20% as a mid-grade as well. This thing works pretty good. I'm impressed. I think this is one you can keep in the shop and it's worth the money. So I'm going to give this 4 out of 5 stars.